Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about approximating area under a curve. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals x squared minus 2x plus 3, and we are given the interval of negative 1 to 3, and we need to find four midpoint rectangles that approximate the area under the curve. Now, I want to find the width of each one of these rectangles. So I take my upper limit of my um, interval, 3, and subtract the lower limit of negative 1 to it. Divide that by the number of rectangles, which is 4. 3 minus a negative 1 is plus a positive 1, so 3 plus 1 is a 4. Over 4 gives us a 1. So the width of each rectangle now needs to be 1. So we have to make a table here, and we need to find what x values are the midpoints of each rectangle. Well, that's actually pretty simple. If the width of each rectangle is 1, the midpoint is halfway of that, so the width is, well, 0.5, right, in there. So if the right endpoint, or the left endpoint, starts at negative 1 of the first rectangle, the right endpoint of that rectangle, if we add 1 to it to get 0, halfway between that, then negative 0.5, okay? So the midpoint of the first rectangle is negative 0.5. Then if the width of each midpoint is at equal distance apart, we add 1 to it. Negative uh, 0.5, add 1 is a 0 0.5. Add 1 again, we have a uh, 1.5 if I can add, and one, one more time is a 2.5. Okay, so now we have the x values of each one of our midpoints here, okay, for the rectangles. We need to find the y value at that x value. So we plug each one of these in to our original equation, y equals x squared minus 2x plus 3, and I have done that for you. I got a 4.25. When I plugged in negative 0.5 in, when I plugged in 0.5, I got a 2.25. When I plugged a 1.5 in, I got a 2.25 again. And plugged a 2.5 in, I got a 4.25. Now from there, we want to find the area of each rectangle. Okay? Well, that should be fairly simple. The area of the rectangle is the width times the height, or width times the y value, right? And our width is always going to be 1 for each one. So we take our y value, multiply it by 1, and you should be able to do that. 4.25 is there, 2.25 right here, 2.25 again, and a 4.25. And this represents the area of each one of our rectangles here. Well, if you want to get the overall total approximate area under the curve, we add up each rectangle. We add up each area, and this comes out to be a lovely 13. And so that's our final answer here. The approximate area under the curve over our given interval using four midpoint rectangles is a 13. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.